All right, how you doing guys? Today, as you can see right now, I have the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder here for you guys. Um, basically, um, I'm actually using the Zoom H1 as we speak to record this video. The reason that I bought the Zoom H1 was for um, basically to record audio separately from my uh, DSLR. Um, the only reason I did that was because my T1i, um, as anyone who has a Canon T1i, they would know basically that Canon, for some reason, didn't actually had well didn't and it didn't integrate uh, input like a jack for a mic, a input mic basically an input jack a line in I guess you could say um, for the T1i. So that kind of limits us because uh, we have to use. Um, the camera's audio which kind of sucks to be honest with you but anyway so today I have the zoom h1 and uh, let me tell you something I've had this for two weeks and this thing is powerful um, after I synchronize it with the uh, actual video it works fairly well on the outside of the box it tells you everything all the specs um, box and you know it's nothing special um, inside the box what's included is we have if I can open this we have manuals warranties um, another zoom catalog mini catalog with other items other merchandise um, all this stuff pretty much people don't really read or care about some people do, some people don't. Zoom H1 Handy Recorder comes with a micro SD, a 2 gig micro SD. Um, I actually upgraded it to a 4 gig um, micro SD. It comes with a battery. Um, I also put another battery in there. I put a new battery in there. Um, it's really easy to use. It's one button um, on the sides, on this side. Let me see if I can zoom in. On the, see, as you can see on this side, you have line out, and then you have volume control for the line out, which means basically you put like a uh, if you want to monitor the audio as you record it, um, you could put headphones in there and then record the volume from there. On this side is a slot for the mini SD card, micro SD actually. I'm sorry. Now on the other side. Um, you have the USB, you have the power, which is also, you could also put it under hold. As you can see, I'm recording right now, so uh, it'll hold, that way I won't touch any of the buttons and I won't mess up. Um, you have the delete button, then you have the rewind, the pause, play, fast forward, and then the input levels. The input levels, um, it's basically to... So if you're speaking too close into the mic here, then you know it'll sound. You'll hear the difference. Like it'll sound muffled. So you can control the levels from here. Here, as you can see, I have my uh, lavalier mic plugged in. You can't really see it, but it's actually on me right now. Um, that's where I plug this in. Otherwise, if you could, you could. If I'll unplug it. That way, you could tell the difference. All right. So this is actually me speaking directly into the uh, Zoom H1 without no microphone. Now I'm going to plug the lavalier mic back into it so you can tell the difference. All right, and here again we are back to our, the lavalier mic. Um, on the back of the device, WAV format and then you have MP3 format. You have auto level off and auto level on. You could, you could choose off and on for low cut as well. Um, some people recommend not to use the auto level, not to put it on on because they say the device doesn't read it that well. Um, I've honestly, I honestly haven't tested it, but uh, I always leave it on off and then choose the different uh, levels myself. Um, for WAV format, wave, WAV, whatever you want to call it, um, you actually can record a lot less than you can with MP3. MP3 is a lot more. Sound difference, I, I can't really tell the difference. Um, I don't know if many people really could tell the difference, but uh, I usually stick to MP3 because it gives me a lot more time. With this four gig that I have here in, inside the device now, 
Um, I'm actually able to record 54 hours of audio, which is ridiculous because no one's going to really record 54 hours at one shot. So uh, I'll never really run out of space, which is good. Um, other than that, guys, on top the mic, you have an X and Y. Um, that's for the stereo. Basically, it records stereo, um, which it's wonderful, wonderful sound. Um, I couldn't ask for anything better. I paid a hundred dollars for this device at a B&H Photo in New York City. Um, you could definitely get one. You pick one up on Amazon.com, a little cheaper. Might be a couple bucks off. Um, you could get it at Autorama in New York City. I'm sure eBay has them. They have them on you know everywhere. You can just find them. Just search for Zoom H1 Handy Recorder, and it'll pop up. Um, also, guys, I have this right here, which is the K Tech windscreen that I bought separately this was about 25 bucks it's a separate accessory for this the purpose of this is basically to um, exactly what, what it is it's a windscreen um, believe it or not it works phenomenal um, actually you know what I'm gonna take the lavalier mic off alright here we are guys with the windscreen on I'm gonna blow into the mic I don't know if it makes much of a difference. Let me see. Um, you could definitely hear. Um, I'm actually gonna record the window outside. You can't really, but I'm gonna try to see if I can fan it. How about this? Now look at the difference if I take this off. There you go. Um, plug the I'll plug the lavalier mic back in. Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe and the button up top up here. I think it's up. Yeah, it's up here. <laughs> um, this is the Zoom H1. As you can see, I'm talking to the lavalier mic, so you guys can see. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you later.